Good morning, folks. Quick shot of a meteor on dash cam captured Thursday night. Welcome to Earth, Little Rock. We've got a volcano going off in Japan, tornado footage from this past week, footage from the hurricane affected areas in the U.S., and some astrobiology news. But first, we're going over to spaceweathernews.com and checking out the last day on our star. Two things jump out. One, we have no large, easily visible coronal holes. And then the bright active areas are umbral magnetic fields above sunspots, looking big, but they haven't been producing. The earth-facing quiet got hold of them days ago, no solar flares, and there is just magnetic separation now, positive and negative, nicely split, and not interacting much at all. Solar wind remains calm in character, but the magnetism presents nearly constant change now during the equinox vulnerability, and we've got recurrent shield instability despite there being no CMEs or coronal hole streams. Moving on. This city look a little gray to you? Yes, it does, but it doesn't usually look that way, and it's not their fault. Mount Aso in Japan erupted a plume 11 kilometers high and blanketed the town with ash. Here are some shots from the tornadoes earlier this week, 18 reported in Kansas two nights ago, but the top weather story is Hurricane Matthew, slated to take on Charleston and Myrtle Beach today and into tonight while it appears that North Carolina will probably get the most rainfall. Up to 200 miles inland we could see major flash floods and enduring water in low-lying areas. The storm has yet to make official landfall, but has already brought a world of troubles to the east coast. High winds, strong storm surges, flash floods, damage to buildings, and even some loss of life is being reported. Everything from streets that would make Venice lift an eyebrow, to college buildings filled up in a matter of moments from the rushing torrent, and even those who got out of Dodge managed to find ways to bring the world images of what was happening back in the zone, like this security camera footage near the beach. Not sure how that glass didn't break. Anyway, interesting tidbit. Did you know all U.S. nuclear plants are required to shut down an hour before a hurricane would strike the area? I didn't. Probably a good idea after Fukushima. Top article of the day is this. Those tube-like organisms are feeding on uranium radiation in a gold mine in South Africa, and that's not the first time we've heard of such an extreme organism. But it brings into focus the astrobiological implications given the abundance of extraterrestrial water and a lack of protection from cosmic radiation. The topic of radiation-based life is one of the topics on today's weekly podcast coming in a few hours to suspiciousobservers.org. And folks, if you missed the last day and a half or didn't yet get to watch our special video from Thursday night, it is called Solar System Circuit, and it is very much a sneak peek into some of the things we'll be learning about at Observing the Frontier in April. A quick reminder, if you get admission to the conference during October, my birthday month, we'll give you a gift, 60 days free membership to the site, and enter you in a chance to win a signed copy of our new book set to come out in just two months. Info page has all the speakers, their talk titles, and the schedule. Georgia and South Carolina, buena suerte esta noche. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.